This video is an introduction to a new pump controller that uh, Kelco have developed called an F60. And here is one. So what's in the box, what is it, and what does it do? Well, let's have a look. The F60 is a, a universal pump controller designed to control pumps of any size, single phase, three phase, up to any motor size you like. The unit itself comes in two parts, the controller and what we call the wet end, the part that screws into the pipe and actually senses the flow. The kit also includes uh, a package of cable glands and seals and a couple of hooks. One uh, for installing the unit and one for programming it. The F60 is a fully programmable controller. It suits any pipe size and it does that by employing a long paddle that can be cut off to suit whatever pipe the unit's being installed into. So for example, here is a, a wet end that's already been cut off to suit a, a small pipe, a pipe about 80 mil in diameter. It's a one inch BSP thread. We can also supply the units with one inch NPT threads. There are no metal parts whatsoever in the wet area of this device. It's quite simply made from glass reinforced thermoplastics. It has a tapping on the top with an O-ring on it that is used to provide pressure to a pressure sensor that is built into the controller to sense the system pressure. The controller itself has a very, very simple interface. It has a reset button, a programming button, and a up and a down data button for entering things like uh, starting and stopping pressures and times, starting times, running times and that sort of thing. And here is an F60 with its lid on. It's uh, got a paddle fitted to it that's suitable for pipes in the order of 80 millimetres to 100 millimetres in diameter. And as you can see it's a, it's a pretty robust device, extremely weathertight, extremely solidly built, made to last for years and years and years. The electronics in it are designed to tolerate very wide variations in voltage and supply fluctuations, voltage spikes and that type of thing. But enough about the hardware. What is this thing actually for and why would you want one? Well, the F60 is an extremely flexible device. It's capable of controlling a pump in an awful lot of different ways and solving an awful lot of problems that pump installers and pump engineers encounter in their day-to-day -day business. The F60 can do anything from simple override on start, starting a pump if there's no flow, overriding the initial off state of its own paddle and getting flow going, and then protecting a pump from running dry. It can operate a pump similarly to a conventional pressure system, starting at a set pressure, stopping at a set pressure, and giving the pump dry run protection while it's running, something a conventional pressure system can't do. You can enter in pressures in the range of 0 to 2000 kPa and it can operate on differential pressures as low as 1 kPa, something conventional pressure systems can't do. It can operate in one of three modes. It can operate as a simple flow switch using its paddle to override its initial off state and simply give the pump dry run protection. It can ignore paddle bounce. It can operate in situations where there is entrained gas in the pipe work that causes the paddle to bounce rapidly back and forth. That will not phase the F60. It can be operated in a flow run pressure start mode, a mode that can give the user constant pressure and minimise the cycling of the pumping system. In other words, it can start on a pressure drop and run while ever flow is present and shut down when flow stops. An extremely handy mode of operation. Makes operating the pump very economical due to lack of cycling. It gives a constant pressure to the user. It can operate in cyclic mode. It can be set to start and to run a pump for a set period of time, anything from a minute to a hundred hours, and to then stop a pump from anything from a minute to a hundred hours. That's called cyclic running and it's one of the standard features of the F60. It can be set up to give delayed restarting, 
in a scenario where you're filling a tank and you've perhaps got a leaky valve or leaky pipe work, a pump will ordinarily hunt on and off due to pressure falling once the valve closes. Uh, the pump will start, pressurise the system, the leak will cause the pressure to fall, pump will start again and cycle on and off. The F60 has the ability to avoid that by simply delaying for anything from a minute to 100 hours the restarting of the pump. It can be set to then restart the pump automatically or to wait after the set period for some natural event to cause it to start, such as the opening of a valve or an external switch or relay closing its contacts. It can be set to control the number of times that a pump can start in an hour, a function called anti-cycling. Anti-cycling is the ability to limit the number of times in any one hour that the pump will start. The range of adjustment is one start per hour through to 1800 starts per hour. It's a particularly valuable feature for use with borehole pumps that are very easily damaged by excessive starting and stopping. It's also an extremely useful feature for conventional pressure systems. If the air cell in the conventional pressure system fails in any way, loss of air, ruptured diaphragm, the pump will cycle on and off very rapidly and very quickly overheat. The F60's anti-cycling feature allows you to set a maximum number of starts per hour and therefore detect any such rapid cycling and hunting and shut the pump down. The F60 has a burst pipe detection system built into it that enables it to detect if the pump has run for too long a period and to shut it down and to set off an external alarm. The F60 has a built-in alarm relay that lets you control external devices. The anti-cycling feature can also be used in conjunction with the burst pipe detector and if those two features are both used in a, in a system it covers all scenarios as far as burst pipes go. A split pipe and a slow leak that causes a system to cycle on and off regularly can be detected by the anti-cycling feature and shut down simply on the basis of the number of times that the pump starts in any one hour. Or a fully burst pipe can be detected by the running time function that can be set up in the burst pipe detection, simply the, the number of minutes or hours that the pump runs for. So when combining those two features, you really do have a system that covers all scenarios as far as detecting burst pipes go. The F60 can be triggered from an external input, a tank level switch, a set of relay contacts closing in an irrigation controller or in some ex other external device. It has a leak detection system built into it that enables the user to pressurise a system, zero the leak detector, return to the system sometime later and the F60 will report back on the number of times that the pump started in the interim and the length of time to the second that it ran for. Overall, the F60 is an extremely versatile tool. It's a device that can be carried by a pump installer or a pump engineer, and 90% of the time it will enable the installer to solve problems that crop up on a job that are not necessarily apparent when planning a job. When extra features are required that are not ordinarily contained within a pump control panel, the flexibility of the F60 allows the installer to set up scenarios that would otherwise require complex rewiring, complex and very expensive panels. The F60 can operate on mains voltage or on low voltage AC or DC. There's even a dedicated 12 volt DC version available for the solar pump applications. To summarise, the F60 is a solution to a number of pumping problems that may be encountered in the day-to-day -day life of a pump installer or pump engineer. To the end user, the F60 offers some major advantages over conventional pump controllers. Extreme flexibility, a screen that reports back to the user the actual status of the system. Not simply, hey, the pump has stopped, but a screen that actually tells you what's gone wrong. If the pump has stopped at any point, the screen will report back what the pump is doing. If it's waiting to start, what the pressure in the system may be, what the starting and stopping pressures are. A very handy feature. So overall, that is what the F60 is and what it's all about. Quite simply, it's the ultimate pump controller in terms of flexibility and usefulness.